Hello guys, I hope you are doing fine and today I'm going to show you how to load data from another page using Ajax and jQuery. It may be a TXT uh, page or a JSON page or maybe a PHP file. So what we can do to achieve that is sim simply creating two, two files, one that will uh, be your index page and the other one which will be where you want to get the data from. So I'll create my first file. I'll, I'll call it, I'll say, throw new. And I'll save it as, I'll save it to my local disk C since I'll be using um, PHP. So I'll save it in my study folder and I have another one called load. And I'll say this one is my index page of PHP. And then I'll create a new file and I'll call it load dot php this is where we will get our data from and this will be our index page where we'll view everything so the first thing that we need to do is i'll load the html form and i'll say my title will be how to load you can call it anything uh, data from another page using Ajax. Yeah, Ajax and jQuery. Yeah. So the first thing that we need to have is the jQuery, jQuery CDN. So I'll just search a jQuery CDN. The it's free, the CDN is free, so I'll just copy paste this one. I use the minified format and I'll copy this and I'll paste it below my head tag. And here it has my CDN. So the next thing I need to do is I'll create a division. And I'll call it load underscore data underscore container. In this uh, section, in this division, is where we'll store our data that will come from our load.php file. It may be from a database, it may be from, you can do anything here. So the next thing that we need to do is create the script uh, the script uh, the ajax uh, ajax uh, function that will load this data sorry for that i'll say script i'll create my script tags and i'll say document dot ready function this will allow us will uh, make our page faster to avoid buffering because uh, this statement is telling the browser to load these this information only after this the dom has been loaded so the next thing i need to do is load this, this data so what i'll do is i said dollar sign and i'll use this one it's a class so we will use dot and not hash because it's not an id dot load our page which is load dot php and i'll save this and then inside our load.php page, I can say just 
a simple thing like, like an open PHP tags and you can say just echo hello world sorry hello world and we can see whether it will be loaded in, in our division class so to do this uh, we'll load our page in our browser and i'll say localhost localhost sorry i changed my port i have to use port 8080 slash study slash load and i'll load my page and as you can see we have how to load data as our title and hello world if i change this statement from hello world maybe to something like i say good with canon i refresh my page you see code with canon so simply this is how you do to load uh, form data you can also maybe let's say an, an example load data from uh your database you can create your connection here and say maybe mysql i underscore connect i'll say a local host i'll say my username is root the password is empty sorry not like that it's like that password is empty and maybe my database i have a uh, database called face and i can say if connection echo connected else i can say echo fill and with this let's run you can see it's connected so that means here you can create a while loop and load data from your tables uh, load data from a json file a txt file any data that means you are your system will be faster your website will load faster because uh, your data is not that complex maybe you can have multiple txt files or multiple pages that you want to load every time the index page load and that's all guys for this video and if you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys next time